whole numbers are commutative for addition and multiplication. Now, what does this mean? This means that let's say, for example, you have two whole numbers, A and B. Okay? And you want to add them. Now, does it make a difference if I change the order? What does this mean? This means that if I add A to B, I get the answer. Right? Let's call this as answer 1. But if I change the order and I add B plus A, okay, the answer that I get, let's call it as answer 2, will answer 1 and answer 2 be same? Or in other words, does changing the order of addition makes any difference to the result? If it does not, we say that the whole numbers are commutative for addition. If it does, we say that the whole numbers are not commutative for addition. Let's take some example. So let's say for example, I add 5 plus 6. What is the answer that I get? I get 11. If I change the order and I do 6 plus 5, what is the answer? The answer is again 11. Well, this might hold this true for this, but do I need to do another one? Let's do that. If I have 26 plus 25, what do I get? I get 51. If I change the order and I do 25, I get 25 over here and 26 over here plus 26. What is the answer? The answer is again 51. Or in other words, change of order of two whole numbers under addition does not make any difference okay and we say that the whole numbers the whole numbers are commutative for addition if we have to see this on the number line okay there also it's pretty simple so if you add 5 plus 6 what will you get you will move 6 lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 Okay, so the answer is 11. 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. What if I do 6 plus 5? So I move from 6, okay, and I move 5 places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, I reach the same number. Or in other words, even the number line shows you the same thing that changing the order of addition does not make any difference to the result. Let's look at the whole number commutativity for multiplication. So when I multiply two numbers, okay, let's say A and B. So is A times B equals to B multiplied by A, where A and B are both whole numbers? Let's look at it. So if, let's say for example I take two numbers 5 and 6. So 5 times 6 is it equal to 6 times 5? B into A. We get 5 times 6 is equal to 30 and we get 6 times 5 is equal to 30. Or in other words even in case of multiplication the change of order does not make a difference to the result. You want to take another example? Let's take that. So 8 times 5, we know this is equal to 40. What if I do 5 times 8? Again, 5 times 8 we know is equal to 40. Or in other words, we say that the whole numbers are commutative. The whole numbers are commutative for multiplication as well. Let's look there at this on the number line. And here I will take 3 and 4. Right? So first thing is, what is 3 times 4? So to move on the number line, I'll take the number 3 and I'll move 3 at a time 4 times. 3 times 1, 3. Then I move 3 places. 3 times 2, 6. Then I move 3 places, 3 times 3, 9. 
and then I move again three places, three times four, and I get the answer as 12. But what if I do it four times three? Will my answer change? In this case, I start from four, I'll move four places one at a time. So four times one from zero, I get four times one equals to four, four times two equals to eight, and four times three, as I move four places, is equal to 12. So even on the number line, we can see that the whole numbers are commutative for division.